Hello, my name's Barry James. I'm the founder of the Crowdfunding Centre and more importantly the Crowdfund Data Centre as far as today's concern. We collect data from equity and rewards based crowdfunding sites uh, around the world uh, at a rate of around about 500 or so uh, per day and uh, that's uh, g given us about 130,000 uh, crowdfunds tracked so far this year uh, and we can see a lot of the detail of what's going on there. Uh, as you may know we re recently released some research which unexpectedly showed that London is now a real contender for world capital crowdfunding. Not only was this highly impactful catching media attention and quickly rippling around the world just proved by far the most effective thing that we've yet done and of course proved useful to Jason and Woody and the people uh, trying to get the Jobs Act done and get the goods uh, and in that sense has in a way activated the data but this is just a beginning there's plenty more to do I'm fully aware that this is an academic conference a media impact is of peripheral interest but let me explain why this is important at this point in the history of crowdfunding while we wrangle with regulators over equity crowdfunding regulation crowdfunding is already making a major impact around the world as we can see from the map just how major has been difficult for most people to grasp and for most of us who have grasped it, it's proved remarkably difficult to convey the full force of the existing and potential impact of crowdfunding in all its forms. In truth, it matters little whether London is a little ahead of or behind New York or even for that matter the Bay Area. Um, uh, however, in interest, motivation and action and therefore impact it matters enormously or rather the interest it raises does. In our analysis the single biggest factor in the impact that crowdfunding can make is awareness and acceptance going forward. People and especially decision makers in parliament, government and elsewhere taking it seriously. Benchmarking is proving compelling. People like it and respond. Curious curiosity about what's happening around you and comparing it to what's happening elsewhere is as natural for lawmakers and decision makers as it is, as it is for us all. Which is why the interactive maps we've now launched are providing a major focus of attention and the ranking and stats and benchmarks um, around that are proving compelling. So let, let's take a look. Uh, we're going to have a work through the Atlas document, uh, document we, we published just recently. Just before we do, glancing at um, a live look at, uh, from uh, actually a day or two ago now, um, a live look at uh, what's happening in the USA. So you can see there's a heck of a lot of activity there, live projects mm, pushing almost 15,000 of those. Uh, 14,909 projects across the, the USA. Um, in the uh, in the Atlas document, we'll be looking at activity over the last few months. But online, you can see what's happening live. Um, and uh, as you can see at the top there, you can uh, home in on different territories, different categories, seeing what's happening on different platforms. And you can look at both live uh, alone, or you can include projects that have been and gone and have ended as well. So let's start with this one. Uh, these are quarter two projects by country. Um, so these are completed projects uh, during the second quarter of this year. And uh, as we can see, uh, North America. Uh, we can see there's 10,000 projects there or in excess in fact of 10,000 projects if this map was live I'd be able to zoom in for you you'd be able to see all these maps are zoomable 
um, uh, and um, you can you can dive right into them. I'll uh, try and show you that in a moment or two. Uh, you can see over in the UK over 2,000 projects, um, and there's a lot of activity um, across Europe there too. Uh, now these are just the successful uh, campaigns, the ones that reach their their target um, in the quarter, uh, and this time we're kind of mapping by city location, so it's a lot more fine grain. Uh, and as you can see, um, kind of we're going to need to sort of zoom in a bit more uh, uh, to make sense of sense of that one. And here's one from a bit more uh, a bit more of a zoom in where we can begin to see where the hotspots and the action are um, and um, you know around Europe with the different countries um, and of course we can see uh, uh, highly active there in the UK so this is what the USA looks like um, from the point of view of projects completing uh, during successfully completing in fact during um, quarter two uh, and as you can see uh, lots of activity on the east coast quite a lot on the west coast too uh, less so in the middle um, and uh, on the live map again we'll be able to zoom in on particular areas um, see what's going on and even down to looking at individual projects too so let's do that let's have a look at the east coast of the USA um, on a live basis uh, and we can see uh, a bit more detail as we go in there what's happening um, obviously a lot of uh, activity uh, quite widely spread but particularly around New York so let's go, go have a further look in there and as we zoom in we can see New York in um, much greater detail and if we were then to click through and uh, have a look at what's going on there we get the choice to look uh, at stats for the area New York area in this case where there are 566 projects active in the immediate area um, uh, or to have a look at those projects and drill down into them so let's uh, let's look at that and uh, we can see some started some really quite interesting statistics um, averaging 40 new projects each day um, with a fully funded average of 40 percent and over 1200 in fact uh, 1246 projects created in the period um, and we can see also the stats for the USA as a whole and I'm right there that uh, New York in terms of activity is uh, second uh, down there uh, okay so um, and on average 103 people backed which is quite a high high number and and so on so some some really interesting comparisons starting to come out and if we were to take the other option uh, we could look at uh, trending projects in New York City uh, here in this case uh, and we can see some of the things that are actually live going on around us in if we're in New York City um, and, and on the left there you can see that we can refine um, search uh, to you know a, a great extent um, so uh, we can we can look at uh, within a category or we can look at a particular platform we can search for keywords um, we can look for a backer range or a, or a goal range or, or a range in terms of what was raised um, a number of other um, parameters that we can use to do a, a really very refined search. The other thing attached to uh, the maps are these uh, uh, rankings so we can see um, 
and Los Angeles uh, uh, up at the top there, New York City, Chicago, San Francisco and so on and the, the states rank there as well. Again, these rankings, you know, really interesting and um, and quite motivational as well. So um, uh, that's a very quick tour. There's much more online, um, and uh, the Atlas document, which is downloadable, uh, has a lot more detail too. And you can get that at the crowdfundingcenter.com forward slash mapping. Okay, so the data has proved crucial. Uh, and the more we look at it, the more analysis we do, and the more tools we build to make it accessible, the more powerful it seems to become. Um, this is a living, thriving, fast-growing ecosystem. It deserves and replays close study as I'm sure everyone here agrees anyway. There's so much more analysis to do though. So as we prepare to bring out our second State of the Crowdfunding Nation report, um, you can get these reports by the way at the same address slash report uh, and if you register we'll notify you when one's ready. Um, you can also get access to the maps there too as well um, as you mentioned. But as we as we get ready to bring the uh, the, the next report out shortly, uh, there's so much more to do, uh, and the data is available for research and analysis um, by others as well. So uh, that, together with a, a growing bunch of tools, uh, and we want to we want to build and grow more of those. So if you need research access to the data set. Uh, uh, let me know. Uh, we we want to work with um, with people on this uh, widely. We want to work with people in, um, in in countries around the world because I'm sure you know that we're committed to the growth of crowdfunding across the globe. So we're keen to work with all of you to help the world understand what an amazing and powerful phenomenon this really is, and to its explore its true potential for change to empower people creativity and innovation to make the world a better place so I look forward to working with you on this I'm sure you'll have questions and I hope to be available um, uh, internet permitting uh, via Skype shortly to take your questions but if not do email me easy to get to via uh, the crowd data center or the crowdfunding center so thank you for listening and I look forward to answering or uh, replying to your questions. Thanks again.